So welcome back, everybody, to Relentless Talk Radio. We're on segment two, which is the health and wellness, the health and fitness section of Relentless Talk Radio. So I have Karen uh, with me today. Karen, I love that yellow wall behind you. It's awesome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and uh, tell everybody who you are and what you do. Um, I am a certified holistic wellness coach, a certified nutritionist, and a certified aroma freedom technique practitioner. Um, I'm a young living business builder, and, you know, I work with and educate and coach people on how to enjoy lifelong wellness, including, you know, not only fitness and healthy lifestyle, but including essential oils and supplements infused with essential oils and chemical-free, toxin-free products for their home and personal use. That's what I do. That's what you do. So I'm just I'm just communicating with uh, the other guests in the in the in the green room. Let know that we're a little bit behind. We had some technical difficulties this afternoon with uh, one of our guests having computer issues. So um, we 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 got a little bit behind. So, um, <laughs> so so why do you do what you do? Like why this? Because you've been in the health and fitness industry forever, right? Yes. You, you, you and I have this in common. I we do, and I'm passionate about health and fitness. I've been in the field for over 30 years and I've been, you know, coaching and training people how to stay healthy, lose weight and get fit for all that time. You know, so the essential oils are actually part of that and they, they kind of round out the healthy lifestyle and they're referred to as vehicles of healthy living, but to our living energy and they support every system in the body. So, you know, I've always been passionate about helping people lose weight and, and achieve the best health that they possibly can. And it's probably one of the most rewarding things that I've done all of my life, helping them get fit, you know, so watching them lose inches and just have more endurance, more energy has just been um, a wonderful benefit to me. I mean, it's rewarding in, in every aspect. Um, so, you know, and I've used Young Living products. I've partnered with Young Living over seven years ago because they're mission statement and my purpose in life and just what I do really coincide. They really match what I do. So they're, um, they use products that are totally pure. You know, they have a seed to seal process that guarantees that the oils are pure. So what you're taking actually affects at the cellular level and the essential oils have, um, they're considered living energy. So each of them vibrates at a specific frequency. So, for instance, like the essential oil joy that you got. That's what I'm wearing right now. It's why I smiled. I'm like, I'm like, totally. I know. It's like, oh, my gosh. Really love it. Right. It actually vibrates at a frequency of 188 megahertz. And huh. the, the essential oil of joy, um, so rose essential oil vibrates at a frequency of 330 megahertz. So, so what does that mean? You know, the essential oils, when you talk about quantum physics, they're actually matter and they're also energy. When you inhale an essential oil, it actually affects, you know, the mind and your nervous system and it goes to work immediately. So they're actually on the quantum physics level of, um, of matter and energy. So they can affect change at the cellular level. So when you look at frequencies, like the human body actually has a frequency of a normal human person has a frequency of between 62 and 68 megahertz. So when a person starts to get sick or ill, their frequency goes down and they've actually measured this. And even uh, something simple as holding a cup of coffee can lower your frequency. So when you inhale the essential oils, they actually can raise your frequency. And that's why they're so beneficial to use for health benefits. And, you know, uh, for instance, you know, if a person uh, inhales uh, one, you know, some of the oils actually will start at a lower frequency like 52 and they'll go up to 330. So the lower frequency oils actually help with grounding and keeping us more stable and they're, they affect physical change. Uh, the ones that have higher frequency are more uh, effective for the spiritual and the emotional being. So they all work at different levels. And you know, yeah, it's funny because I was thinking yesterday, I, I, you know, I, I got a little sleep deprived, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I really do believe I can feel when my frequency is down. I literally can feel it right. Okay. That I'm like, okay, I, I need to, take a step back and rest or go read something or, or, you know, go pray or, right. or do something to bring my, my, uh, my right. energy. Back up. Right. And so, so what you're saying is it's a real thing. That's actually a way of measuring frequency in a person. That's, that's interesting. To me. It absolutely is. And there are studies and I can show you some of the clinical research that shows that. So, so it's very profound, you know, but when you inhale the oils, like if you're inhaling peppermint, 
you're going to feel more energetic just by inhaling it or putting it on your neck. And some of the other essential oils actually, when they designed and created, when Dr. Gary Young put the oils together, he knew all of this. So he knows which essential oils will actually change a person's frequency and what effect it would have on the person. So it's what would be the biggest lesson you've learned as a business owner using essential oils and all the different, because you have lots of different things that you do. You do nutrition counseling, you do lots of different things, right? So right, what's right. the biggest lesson that you've learned about combining all of those things together? Well, the, you know, the bottom line is that if you can help people get what they want, you know, in other words, if you want to, if someone comes to you and they're trying to lose weight or get healthier or get fit or in, you know, improve their mood or just get rid of like, you know, negative baggage, um, if you can help them succeed, uh, you're going to be successful. And that's really the what I have done all of my life is actually help people achieve their goals. Or if someone's trying to build their business, you know, I have several business builders under me. So my goal is to help them achieve, you know, their goals. And by doing that, it actually, you know, helps me. To be Zig, Ziglar, Zig Ziglar says the more people that you help reach their goals, the easier it's going to be for you to reach yours. And it's, it's a right. pretty simple. Right. It's basically what Relentless Talk Radio and my entire business is built upon, quite frankly, is helping others. And by doing right. so, I help myself. Right. And, and in turn, they help others, right? Right. So, so you work with a lot of nonprofits, too. You do a lot of charitable work, too. And right. a couple of them I'm considering for for this project. I, I, they're, the one, they're one of the 42 I've been, I've been betting. Tell me about who you serve, and, and we're, we're kind of getting close to the end of our conversation. So briefly, just let me know who the organizations are that you serve. Okay, so the first one I've been working with is the Creative Drill Sergeants, which is a veteran-owned and operated organization, and their mission is to help prevent homelessness and suicide within the veteran community. And, you know, they are really um, a heartfelt group and you know I'm not a vet myself but I am certainly a patriot and they've given so much to this country but you know they're so um, so many of them are suffering not only physically but mentally and emotionally so yeah. that, that is really um, it's true. One, one of my you know most heartfelt causes and you know the person who runs it Gina Ruggiero you know she is an artist as well so I would love to connect both oh, of you. Oh, absolutely. Of her and, then, and I think you work with one other organization too, right? Right. I work with Eric's House, which is actually a home that has, you know, just recently opened. And this is a counseling center for parents and families who have actually lost a loved one to suicide due to drugs, alcohol, or, or what, whatever. And, you know, so the, a lot of times, you know, so they go hand in hand, the creative drill sergeants is working to prevent homelessness and suicide. And Eric's house actually has certified and licensed counselors helping to work with families, you know, because they're so devastated after losing a loved one um, that, you know, sometimes they can't go on with their own life. You know, they just feel so blocked. So it's actually right here in the Valley. And, you know, it's open to people who have lost loved ones specifically to that. And we, another thing we share in common, my brother took his life in 1984. And I can tell you that it's still a constant, is it right. a constant right. human process. But also right. I think that my brother taught me everything I need to know about love and compassion. And he is directly the reason why I do, I interview 13 leaders in all of my That's projects. Awesome. My brother committed suicide on the 13th. Yeah. Well, so you know, when you have a suicide, it really does, it leaves a mark and it's a, it's a long-term one. It impacts, you know, I have found it impacts over like 125 people and my own niece lost her husband to suicide this March. And when I went to visit them uh, just recently, the last few weeks, it was just devastating how it's affected the family and they're putting the pieces back together, you know. It's, it's just, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, we could talk for a whole hour just I on know. this topic alone. Right. So if people want to work with you, there's two things I want to say. If they call you or they text you or they private message you and they use the word relentless, you're going to offer them a special relentless deal. We don't know what that is yet, so you have to call in to, to figure that okay. out. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and then also, um, how, would they, how would they reach out to you to, to get any kind of nutritional counseling, work with you with, with essential oils, fitness okay. counseling? Right. I do counseling, you know, from the Karma Life Center so they can contact me there, but they can also reach me um, by phone, by text 602-882-2976. And I have a website. You can go to www.k 
kjholistic.com. You can find me there. And, you know, if someone's interested in getting essential oils, they can go to my uh, Young Living website, www.myyl.com forward slash kjanice. Well, Karen, I really appreciate you coming on board today and, and talking with me. Can you please put all of that contact information in this Facebook Live um, so people can click? Um, this will be going to YouTube and podcasts as well, but people can always come back to Relentless Talk Radio and find those links on uh, the Relentless Talk Radio business page. Okay. And uh, thanks again for your time today. Have a good day. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you uh -huh. for allowing me to be on. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.